All right. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Didn't sound happy. I bet. Anyway, we'll just kit no. Otto. So you're really going through with it? Since we've been talking about bringing down a mother crystal, since I've known it. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. Well, now it's real. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. Well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the hiding the royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. <laughs> His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. Mm. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. True. On front lines and at home. Very With true. A fair wind behind them. A handful of light minded ne'er do wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. A checkpoint. <clears throat> that's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Okay. Lucky for you. I might just know of a way. Everyone here is a criminal. Yes. Well, no, not that. <laughs> that gets you an audience with the Dane. And it's the Dane who will see you safely through Northreach. I'll send the Stolas in the morning. Let her know you're coming. We go way back. This is a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. What? That's good of you, but who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute, the Vale. What the? She's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. Why does everyone here seem to know the, like, head, X, or Y of some area? Al Alliant reports on... What is that? Explain. Alliant reports are now available for viewing by speaking to Galt at the Alliant reports counter in the Hideaways mess. These reports compiled by the Curse Breakers contain information on quests currently available across Valstea. So he's like the bulletin board for requests. That's everything. Not to find Gav. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? New? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Okay. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> Why'd you snort? I have to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough. These have got proper bounties on them and all. Bounties? Quick look. Use God's Alliant reports to not only find new quests around Valsea, but also travel immediately to the obelisk waypoint nearest their location. Bet. Welcome, community. While the cat's away. This just has one. I'll do this. So instead of checking via the world map, I can just check by him. Which is fine. The tavern. It's done for. I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the golden stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're gonna kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, please help them. All right. I'll see to your problem. Thank you. How many were there? 
I was out of the door too fast to count. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, all right? <sighs> so, a lot. Oh, they're, they're right here. I don't even hear them. It's probably like two. If there was a lot of them, they'd be all rambunctious. And I said two, and it's two. Door opening. It's me. Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. No. Let's say we relieve you on it. Good luck. Yo. I want that blade. Let's get this out of I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't expect there to actually be just two. I thought there would be more later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he is! The hero of the Golden Stables! What up? People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, Merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. <laughs> nice. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right. We've got work to do for to make this place presentable. You'd best be going before I arm you with a mop. All right, relax. There he is, the man of the hour. Yeah, that's me, I guess. Wait a minute, I could have just... Fuck. Oh, wow. Well. Good to see you. What up? Here you go. That guy's got my name. Sids, man, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? Why do you say it like that, though? Depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Okay. That man must have been a bloody tyrant. You can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? Yeah, sure. I can try. Do what I can. I'll do me. I'll talk to them. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a <sighs> long overdue group. What? Like. Right next to me. I'm pretty sure they heard the conversation. What? This is... They heard us. They heard it. 
The, this quest is done, sir. He's gone. Oh my god. Anyway. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? Uh. Safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. All right. Two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. Relax. It's, not for it's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. All right. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. People back then just like drank wine like it's water. And if I have, like, a cup of wine, I'm gone. Destroyed. Annihilated. See you tomorrow. Brother, did you see? <gasps> yeah. Bread and wine from the tavern. Boom, boom. Why did he shift so uncomfortably? That bread is hard as hell. Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. <laughs> oh, okay. I She's adorable. Now, the next time you're hungry. You need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'm the good guy. I am the good guy. Where'd they get a gill bug? He's got my name. I, I, I want no trouble. Why? Wait, wait, that's... Ah, oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. Oh. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I got it. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's gotten worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please. 
rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. All right. I got you, gang. All right. I'll see to it. <sighs> Let's do it. You'll find them over at Gotan's bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. All right. Excuse me. Schools, schools. But how did the grocer know his daughter is? Stealing off the vineyard to see the lad. I don't think you can, like, complain, guy. Unless you're gonna go get different dinner, is turnips for supper again. Let's go! We sprint! We sprint! We sprint! We sprinting! That must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. <laughs> Sick of toggle. Get a boy. <laughs> Just kind of a lame last hit. Oh, I have a lot of AP. Looks like that was the last of them. I better let Quentin's man know. I'm not gonna. Can I teleport there? I can. But how did the grocer know his daughter had been sleeping? Stop asking the same question. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Yes. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost a crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Just call me Raid. Gotan Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> they call me Raid Extra Strength. Black blood. Valuable. Can be traded for gill. Really? It's not a... I feel... I kind of wish it was a crafting item. Um, and then, okay. Let's go! Do you have anything else? Right. He 
Here you go. All right. Can help. Nothing. Good. Um. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Yes. What? If you're gonna bark, so much be quick about it. Oh my goodness. Heatwave. Okay. Finished, are you? Uh, never mind. I feel like I just did these upgrades. Yes. Clive it is. Um. What does it do? Doubles spells? I didn't know that! Adds a second limit break gauge. What? Don't I have one? I have a second limit break gauge, right? Don't I? Don't I have two? Someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then. Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. But Gav... And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, Prime and Icon comes naturally to a dominance. Mm-hmm. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. True. And, did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cut us a path out of the capital on his own, if need be. True. Let's try not to find out. Why? They're less likely to be spotted if we try to <laughs> I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. No promise. <laughs> Gavin is baby ponytails. There's definitely nowhere else to go. I did all the things. So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this Dane finds me? But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing off to the vineyard to see the lad? I'm tired of you asking the same question in my ear, lady. Hey, Torgal! Come, come. Now feel good, boy. Hey, <laughs> Torgal. This did not go anywhere. Fucking, where am I going? Oh, 
goddamn confusing ass village. Is it safe to ride to Northridge now? All right. Here we go. Who's in my party right now? It's just me and the dog. All right. And pedigree. Increases as he accompanies me in battle. He's been in battle with me constantly. So, like, why is this not going up? Is there something I need to do? I'm just confused. I see you. Bam! No holding back. Griffin's head braid. I feel like that's a. Hold on. Increase burning blade damage by 70%. Oh! I do use that a lot, but. I don't know. Kind of chilling on it. those other oh, chickens okay they're big Wake wins. 
I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't understand what happened. Uh, I'm out here. Go back. Big ass area. I want to explore all of this. Yeah, I can't see playing this game without the counters, honestly.
I, d I really like countering. And it's free iframes, I think. <laughs> Who killed the other vulture? Because it wasn't me. Unless it just flew away. Oh. It's just right here. Bitch. Alright. Oh wait, I have a thousand points! <laughs> nice. Ooh, chicken bows! Well, I'm going too far. Spark all over here. I want that. And I want this one. And I guess we can go to North Reach. Or not. The soldiers used to speak of a brothel. That was north of the checkpoint. Damn it. Doing those friends in the south. Get him. What is that? I gotta go fight him. I simply must. Flames to me! Garuda, lend me your strength! Keep your distance, boy. Give them all you've got, boy.
Two gil. I feel like I need more meteorite. But I also don't know. And that's an orchestrian roll. I don't need any potions. Okay. Fine, fine day to you. Hello, Yuna. You don't have the scent of a branded about you. Mm. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? What are we doing right now? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred. Leontel. Okay. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. Okay. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Huh? Unless. Unless. <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Jill? Yes. That will do nicely. Jill, I need help. But. I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? Right? <laughs> what? This is Ying Yar all over again. However, do they get that color? The fruit's not getting any fresher. People thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Is this going to be funny? I feel like this is going to be hilarious. Madame, back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort, 
The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> Don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. Hmm? <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. Jesus. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't they so called bad. me filth. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, Wait. we can speak more at the Vale. Okay. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Honestly. Yep, it's a court town. Oh my gosh. Oh, the markets are a veritable middle. to a bath. That won't be necessary. Um. Drive, my darling. Uh. Welcome to the veil. I just, I have to be ready for this kind of talk, and I'm, I just wasn't. <sighs> I guess I gotta get ready for it. It's happening. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? What am I killing? Don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatien has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. <sighs> Seal obtained. Moon and stars. Proof of that trust. And hopefully okay. enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. All right. Ha ha. Probably start here. A new quest nearby. Oh, two new quests nearby. Three new quests nearby. Excuse okay. Me. You there? The gentleman with I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So okay. you are an associate of the dames? Uh, Might I trouble you for some assistance? 
You'll be rewarded, of course. Gotta remember what line of work exactly she's in. I be assisting. Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the day among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Sure. Why not? Marvelous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. Okay. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. All right. You need only mention that the items you carry are fresh from the master's table. Nothing okay. dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. That They're pause. Really trifles which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. Okay. Well, let's get going. Three heavy purses. Oh. Sergeant's got it in for us two. Garrison soldier. of us needs to brush up on our swordcraft. <laughs> Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Oh my god. Hey, you lost us, Sammy. Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, that. I'm just passing through. <laughs> Don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. Okay. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. Is it? The Dane laughed when we offered her our protection. I reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Empress finest. What? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Brandy? I promise you. I show you earn that brooch. Nine out of time, nine times out of ten, when I say what, it's because I just generally don't understand what they're saying. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. Yeah. Sure. Put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. I feel like I should. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Yeah, okay. Okay, guy. Anyway. Let's go, Dorgal. We oh, right here. The bones fell favorably to the veil then. You. Okay. I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? Sure. About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, Assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. Okay. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraqua society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right. But what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers, and yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin, Simple fare cost little more than a pittance. But to revel in the suffering of others, a simple act of cruelty. True. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek. 
afford you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. Sure. Basically Fine. feed the slaves. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. Mm -hmm. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed. Not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic. True, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes. And for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You huh. be staying, then. I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. Okay. Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. True. Alright. Let's get that underway. <laughs> 